everyone, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is a little bit of a departure for me because I'm normally into the warmer tones and the bold bright lip colors and recently I've just found myself gravitating towards the cooler tones and it works out perfectly since I have my naked smoky. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. This matte shade called Password and a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to buff that in a windshield wiper motion from inner corner to outer corner. And this is just going to give us a nice base transition color for when we go in and concentrate it more in the crease later. Taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to take that same color and I'm just going to concentrate it more in that same area that we just did with the fluffier blending brush. Then taking the dual ended brush that came in my smoky palette, I'm going to use the small pencil side to really get into the crease and I'm using the same shade that I've been using. I'm just going to concentrate it a lot more in the crease to make it darker and I'm also going to put it on my outer corner which I usually do but also on my inner corner which I don't normally do. I usually use a lighter shade but I'm trying something different so yeah. with that smaller blending brush and blend out any of the harsh edges. Then I'm going to take this flesh tone and that same fluffy brush that we started with and I'm just going to lightly blend out the edge of that darker color so that there are no harsh lines. Then taking this silver color and a flat shader brush, I am just going to pack that on the center of my lid in between where I stopped that darker color on my inner and outer corner. Then I decided to take a smaller precision brush and take that same dark color that I was using in my crease and make it a little bit darker on the inner and outer corner. And again, blending and pulling on fall box. Then taking the whitest shade of the palette, I'm going to apply that under my brow bone for a highlight. And as you can see, this is pretty pigmented for a matte shade. Usually the shimmery ones come off like this and the matte ones just don't have much pigmentation at all. But I am pleasantly surprised with this shade. Taking a short shader brush and the same color that I have been using, I'm just going to smudge that along my lower lash line. Then I decided that that wasn't smudging it out enough for me, so I am taking this small rounded pencil type brush and really smoking it out underneath my lashes. Then I'm going to take this angled brush and this darker color right here, and I'm really going to concentrate that right at the base of my lashes. do 
the same thing on my upper lash line, not a specific line, just kind of smudging it out to give it more of that smoky effect. Next, using my finger, I'm just going to use that same shade that I applied under my brow bone and pop that on my inner tear duct. And here we go with the false lashes. Let me tell you guys, lashes are the biggest struggle on camera. No joke. Off camera, I do just fine. On camera, it's a whole nother world, so you're probably going to see me struggle a lot. Once I get them on, I just sort of pinch them together to try to blend them with my natural lashes as best as possible before mascara. Speaking of mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. Any mascara you have will do. And I'm just going to lightly coat my top lashes to blend them in with the falsies and then give my bottom lashes a coat as well. Then I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with this Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the color Smoke. And I apologize for my eyeballs looking super creepy right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get that liner in your pipeline. Next for lips, I'm using this shade from NYX called Nude Beige, and I am going to line all the way around my lips and fill them in completely. For my lip color, I'm going to be using this Revlon Just So Insatiable Stain in the shade Precious, and I'm just going to kind of dab that on the center just to have a little something to go over my liner. Then for blush, this is Precious Plum from La Femme, and I'm just going to pop that onto the apples of my lips. Then for highlight, this is Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill, and unfortunately, my camera and my lighting does not do this thing justice. It is a gorgeous shimmer in person, but you should just buy it and see for yourself. And that completes this look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you soon.